In April of 1789, George Washington was inaugurated first president of the United States of America in New York City. Welcome to the Homeschool History Show. I'm Mr. Wesley, and today let's take a look at another great moment in history. Today's great moment in history deals with the first president of the United States, George Washington. You might have heard of that guy. He's got a city and a state named after him, doesn't he? Let's take a look back for a second. If you remember the Boston Tea Party, they weren't very happy. And then in 1776, they said, hey, England, we don't want to be a part of your thing anymore. Well, also in 1776, they already knew that England wouldn't like that very much. So on July 3rd, 1776, they made this big, tall man, George Washington from Virginia, General George Washington from Virginia, and put him as the first commander in chief of the United States military. It means he was in charge of everyone and everything on our side of the soon to be War of Independence with Britain. Why would they make him a general? Well, that's a good question. He was famous for having good character, meaning that you know, he basically didn't say one thing to one person and another thing to another person. You might not always agree with George Washington, but you pretty much knew him to be an honest person. Also, he had military experience. When George Washington was a young man, he actually, his biggest dream was to go and join the English, the British military, the very people he would end up fighting in order to create the United States of America. Seems crazy, right? Well, if you remember, before Luke met Obi-Wan, he wanted to join the Imperial Air Force, or Space Force. And if these new droids do work out, I want to transmit my application to the Academy this year. Right, and be a TIE fighter pilot. Didn't know any better, neither did George Washington. Okay, so he also worked as a land surveyor. So what is a land surveyor? We well, have to keep in mind, although Native Americans have been living on this continent for thousands of years, when the English came, they had no idea what was going on. What's on the other side of the forest? What's on the other side of the hill? I don't know. Let's send a surveyor. Surveyor is somebody who measures the land. So between being honest, having military experience, and knowing where things were and how to get there, the Continental Congress decided he would be the man to lead our entire military. So against all odds, he won, believe it or not. A long and brutal campaign. We'll hear more about that another day. But since he did such a good job and he defeated all odds like David and Goliath and actually won this war and established the United States on the battlefield, in 1789, they decided to make George Washington the president of the United States. Why is that special? We've always had a president, right? True, but the world didn't. The world had kings and queens. And George Washington had the chance to be one of those himself. And he said, you know what? The entire point of this war was so everybody would have something to say about government. So instead of being your king, you're going to vote for me and I will be your president. He served for two four-year terms. And guess what? They wanted to say, hey, would you like to come back a third time? And he said, no, someone else should have something to say. So it's this reputation as an honest leader who, despite having the opportunity, didn't take more for himself than he needed, and put his people and his country first. And those are many reasons why George Washington has had many great moments in history. So stay awesome, stay great. And remember, until next time, I'm history. <laughs>